tank. Gray water tank. Outside shower right here. Propane storage. Now we've been on shore water for a really long time, but this is a massive tank uh, for fresh water and the pump system is all in place. Um, we just haven't plugged it in. We have the 12 volt system ready for it to be plugged in. That's our tankless water heater. Um, that's propane going right to it. And there's our inlet for shore water. And this is the second bay. The fresh water tank on the other side. And the uh, eight batteries. That's our inverter. We have a breaker box with all our breakers there. The shore inlet right there. An outlet for outdoor usage. A charge controller and a little bit of storage. Hi there. Welcome to our schoolie. My name is Jeremy and my wife and I own the Castle on Wheels. We bought this bus. It's a 2004 International 7.3 liter turbo diesel. Um, it's got just 200 and a little over 200,000 miles on it, which is good. The engine is lost forever. And this is the front of the bus. The driver's area. It's got the standard bus chair um, with uh, air suspension on it, which is really nice. Um, the turbo diesel does come in handy. You just put it in the shelf. Um, it's redwood and it's really easy to bolt down um, any baskets or anything like that, just like we have up top here. A um, couple of things that we're just living with. Um, this is a shelf we put in, just a rack. And then this is one of the only things I couldn't hide yet, um, which is the wiring harness, which goes taillights back that way and this down here into the box with all the breakers in it. So I'll let my wife go ahead and talk a little more. The front part of the bus has a nice redwood shelf here, upper shelves and a hanging rack. The wallpaper is removable wallpaper, so that can easily come off. We walk in to the kitchen, where we have a two-seater bench with storage underneath, another two-seater bench with some storage underneath, and a three-seater bench with open storage, dinette table, all three benches are movable, completely removable, as well as the table. You can change the configuration of them, take them out completely. Small cabinet here for anything you need. There are also upper bookshelves on both sides. Some shades for the window. Open shelving on one side. This is where we had our mini fridge and all drawers 
are just regular functioning drawers. All cabinets are just regular functioning cabinets. This is just a pull-out cabinet. We have a RV-sized oven and stove with a glass top cover that you just lift. Three burner gas, two rack oven. More cabinets. Large kitchen sink, deep kitchen sink with a movable faucet as well. We did a 20 inch roof raise. So this is the original line of the bus of where the roof was originally and we lifted it higher. Recessed can lighting throughout the entire bus. And then we have our bathroom. We have a RV flushing toilet, full functioning vanity, cabinet mirror, tiled throughout. And this is our shower with a pull in shower rack that goes all the way around. Some inset shelves. Output storage. Barn door to keep it closed. This is the only door in the entire house. We have the bedroom area. This is a queen size mattress on top. Underneath we have a toddler crib size mattress. For one. And then a miniature crib size mattress on the other. Some shelving for storage. We used a collapsible stool to get into our bed. More shelving, open hanging clothes rack, There's a light here for one single light and then another light over here for full lighting in the bedroom. The bus is fully drivable, movable, 